Welcome to Ruby Thursday's Better Than Airbnb. I'm your host, Melissa Wanish. This is Unit 2, Lesson 6, Image Upload with Paperclip. In this lesson, we'll go over user story. As a member with a profile, I want to upload a photo of myself so that other members will trust me. That's why any website allows you to upload your own pictures. It's, it's for the trust factor. First up, let's double check that our specs are in good working order from the last lesson. It's always good to double check your specs before starting something brand new. Opening up our terminal, I will run all of the specs in the features file. That's where we've put most of our specs so far. And uh-oh, we do find an error from our last work. Let's see. It's saying that it's unable to find the field profile bio. That's usually because there's some sort of error on the page preventing the regular view from loading. Okay. Let's go ahead and put in a binding pry so we can open up the page and see what's going on. And now we'll put this binding pry right before the place where it failed. And I'll run just that particular spec this time and it'll stop the process. And now I'm going to run save and open page. And it'll open the page exactly at that time. So, okay, uh-oh, that's what's happening. You need to sign in or sign up before continuing. In our last lesson, we put in Pundit. So now we have to log in before we create a profile. There are a few ways you can handle logging in in a feature spec. One way is to follow the exact process of logging in. So you would visit the new member session path. You would fill in the email and the password and log in. We're gonna do that before our scenario. Let's go ahead and take out the binding pry. We don't need that anymore. And now we will add in the before method to sign us in. So before the host creates a profile, they need to be signed in. So let's exit out of pry and now we'll run it again and see what happens. And success. Now we'll move on to adding a profile image. To test adding a profile image, we're going to add this to our profile feature spec. We're going to add an image to our fixtures so that the spec can use it. And we'll define that as the profile pick path. And we will include that image. And then our spec and Capybara have an excellent method called attach file. So we'll attach it to the profile pic and we need to include the path to that picture. To make sure that it uploads, we're going to define profile as the last profile created. And then we're going to expect that profile to have attributes profile pick file name and make sure it has a value. That means that it was saved to the database. Back in our text editor, let's go ahead and add these lines to our scenario. So we'll go ahead and add where we attach the file and then add where we test that it was uploaded. Let's go ahead and run our spec now that we've made that adjustment and see what we need to do first. The test can't find a profile pic, so that means we need to add that fixture. You'll just need to create a folder for fixtures and then files, and then include any JPEG that you would like, and be sure to call it profile pic. I've chosen a very nice one of Mr. Tony Stark to be our profile pic. Running the spec again, let's see what the next step will be. Okay, now it is not finding a field to attach it in our form. So there's a lot of stuff that is involved in fixing this up. Let's get to it. Now it's time to add the paperclip gem. Here is a link to more information about paperclip. Most importantly, you need to be sure to have image magic installed first. That is a dependency of the paperclip gem. Paperclip is going to process these images for you to crop them, to um, center them, whatever you ask it to do, but it needs image magic to do that. So we're going to add paperclip gem to our gem file and then bundle. Opening up our gem file, we'll go ahead and put that right under pundit and save that. And now we will bundle that up. I have already installed image magic, so it should do that without too much trouble. And it's installing a couple dependencies. There it goes. Next, we need to add the profile pick attribute to our profile. So we will create a migration. We're gonna make it a very blank migration because attachments are a little bit harder to put in than other attributes. 
we need to self up, change the table profiles to have an attachment. So T attachment profile pick. And of course, with a self up, you need a self down. So self down, remove attachment profiles, profile pick, even though it's not there. And then we will rake db migrate in our terminal. Let's go ahead and paste in the command to create the migration so that we can edit it. Okay, now let's go find it in our text editor. So we'll go to db migrate and then the very last one. We're going to replace def change with our self up and self down. Make that a little prettier and save. Now let's rake db migrate so that we add the attachment. Actually adds three attributes, a name, an image type, and a size. Next, let's add to the model and the controller. So for paperclip, here is the syntax. It has attached file profile pick, and we're going to make it a normal size profile pick of 100 by 100, and we're going to center and crop that. That's what the hashtag there at the end of 100 by 100 means. There's lots of resources to see what all kinds of image manipulation that you can do. We'll go ahead and add a default URL. We're not going to add that image right now, but you can, of course, add that later. And you need to validate attachment content type. So for profile pick, it's going to be an image. If it had been a PDF or a GIF, you would put a different designation there. Now we need to make sure that the controller allows our profile pick to be saved. So let's add that to our whitelist of profile params just after member ID. Let's open up our model first in app and then models and then profile. Now we'll add the information about the image and move that over to make it pretty and save that. Now let's head on over to the controller. So controllers, profile controller, and scroll all the way down to add profile pick after member ID. Finally, now we're ready to add it to the form. Yay! First, we need to make our form multi-part true so that it will know that it needs to upload an image. And then we will add a file field for profile pick. File field will add the button to browse your file system to upload the image. Let's open up the view and then profiles and then the form. That's where it is. So now we'll change this whole line to include the multi-part true. Now we'll add the image after the bio. So we're just going to reuse some of this basic styling that the scaffold gave us. So we'll have a class field and then let's add the ending div and now add our file field. All right, we are ready to run our spec again and see how it goes. We've added a model, a controller, and a view, the basics of MVC. So now it passes, hooray. Let's check our git status, make sure that everything's there that we need and nothing we don't. Hmm, actually we do see something a little curious. Now it's trying to save public system. So right now it's set up that the test images are getting saved to the public system. Well, we don't need those in our Git, in our Git repository. So let's ignore anything with public and system. Let's open up that Git ignore. It's in the main file system. We'll just add it to the end. We're not going to track anything that's in public system. We don't need any of that. That's very particular to the database that we're working on at the moment. Now when we get status again, it is no longer there. Now you can create your message just like I've shown you before. That wraps up this lesson of Better Than Airbnb. If you are not already subscribed to my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to do so. You can get some extra awesomeness in your inbox. If you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, click that big red button right there and do so. You get the videos just a little bit before everyone else. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and see you soon.